guys welcome back to my channel i will be doing mini braids while giving you all tips on how to keep your hair moisturized so if you guys want to see so just keep watching just keep watching all right so my hair is freshly washed i have no product in it that's how my hair looks um it's damp i'll be doing the lcl method so i'll be using a leave-in i have can too And then I'll be using a cream. So I have this styling cream by Pattern Beauty. So I'll be using this. And then I have my homemade Ayurvedic oil that I'm going to be using on my hair as a sealant. So I'm gonna start by parting out my hair. All right, so my first tip is to find out what your hair needs. Um, this is a good starting point for your hair if you're just starting out to be natural. So finding out what your hair needs is like an important step in finding, just finding out um, good products to use for your hair. You also need to find out whether or not your hair is low, medium, or high porosity. This makes an important this is an important process, well, this is an important step in finding out good products for your hair and maintaining moisture. So if you don't know the porosity of your hair, how, you, how are you going to find out which products you need for your hair? In order to find out, um, to find out the porosity of your hair, you need to one of the most common tests to find out whether your hair is high, medium, or low porosity is doing the water, the water test. So you can take a strand from any part of your hair and use a glass of water, put that hair in that water, and figure out whether the hair floats, sinks, or just floats in the middle. So if your hair floats, then you have low porosity, you have low porosity hair. The cuticles are tightly closed. And if the hair strand sinks, then you have high porosity hair, which means your cuticles are lifted. And then if the hair strand floats in the middle, it is, it is medium porosity. This is really hard trying to do your hair and talk about some tips, but I'm trying. Another tip is, another tip is water. Water should be basically your best friend, whether that is putting water into your hair or um, drinking water, you should be drinking about six to eight glasses, six to eight glasses of water a day, which, which helps with the whole body and flushing out toxins, um, promoting healthy skin, and to also promote healthy hair growth. Putting it onto your hair um, helps your hair become a bit more manageable, and to allow your um, to allow hair products to seep into your hair better. And also, while uh, um, attempting to style your hair on on dry hair without at least putting water onto your hair could lead to some to some breakage. So in order to prevent breakage, that will mean by putting a little bit of water onto your hair to help to prevent breakage. Okay, all right. My hair is all parted. <laughs> that was, that's a process. Parting is a process. Another method of maintaining moisture is choosing to do the LCO method, which is one of my favorites. I like to use the LCO method onto my hair whenever I'm styling my hair. It's just the best option for me to maintain moisture. When using the right product combination um, when styling your natural hair, it seems to stay moisturized a little bit longer until at least the next wash day. The LCO method is common for naturals with low porosity hair and then the LOC 
method is common for people with low porosity hair, but uh, you can make that determination on which method you will prefer when moisturizing your hair. I prefer the LCO method as my hair is low porosity. Another tip for maintaining moisture is using pre-poos. I prefer to use pre-poos on my natural hair as it helps me, you know, of course, maintain moisture. It helps with the detangling process and cuts down the amount of time that I'm in the shower. But if you're experiencing, if you're experiencing dry brittle hair or want some extra moisture be before, starting on your um on your wash day routine then try out a pre-poo you, you can use so many different products for a pre-poo you can create your own you can use oils you can use oils and butter oils and creams um you can use light conditioners i use light conditioners when um pre -pooing. um but yeah it does help with manageability of your hair and just making sure that and making sure that if your hair is stripped from your shampoo then it just creates that extra barrier. Okay, another Another tip is to do hot oil treatments. Um, this is another one if you're experiencing dry hair. Hot oil treatments tend to strengthen your hair while softening it. Hot oil treatments make sure that your hair is moisturized while adding shine. But you can create whatever oil mixture you choose to use while doing a hot oil treatment. Alright, another way to maintain moisture is to oil your scalp. Oil your scalp is a great way to keep your hair moisturized, but if you have oily scalp, then this may not be a necessity for you. Keeping your scalp moisturized decreases the, decreases the likelihood of dandruff while adding shine. You shouldn't have to oil your scalp every day. It's not really... It's not really effective to oil your scalp every day. Oiling your scalp is just as effective um, when, you know, lightly misting your hair to dampen and then apply, apply the oil to your scalp. It increases the likelihood of your scalp absorbing all those necessary oils into your scalp to, to promote uh, moisture and necessary hair growth. Deep conditioning your hair is another important step for another important tip for keeping your hair moisturized. After a wash, your hair could be stripped of all this moisture depending on what kind of shampoo you're using for your hair. Uh, so implementing a deep conditioner will help 
restore moisture back into your hair. Using a deep conditioner with heat, whether it's um, a deep conditioning hat or just, you know, your body heat, and it helps raise the cuticles of your hair. It allows for your deep conditioner to absorb all the necessary ingredients for, from your deep conditioner to seep into the scalp to allow for your hair to retain moisture. I believe that trimming your hair is a necessity for your hair in order to uh, maintain moisture but also to promote hair growth. The ends of your hair tends to be the oldest part of your hair and needs a little bit more TLC so without trimming your hair your hair becomes dry and brittle and prone to breakage which isn't a good thing for your hair so trimming your hair is a necessity in order to grow out your hair retain the length and to of course retain moisture because without a trim that product is still on top without um absorbing into the hair which doesn't allow for full absorption of the product which could lead to more um damage and breakage which isn't a good thing so trims are very necessary for your hair whether it's six to eight weeks um once every three months once every six months or depending on however you may feel they feel the need to trim your hair another tip to maintain moisture is to wear satin satin scarves or bonnets or use a satin pillowcase I use both. I, I wear either a satin pill, a satin scarf, or a bonnet. And then I have satin pillowcases on um, almost all my pillows. So just in case my scarf falls out, falls off, I wear the scarf. I and mean, I have the pillowcase. And so, you know, wearing a satin bonnet or scarf or using a pillowcase, um, ensures that the moisture that you already have on your hair stays on your hair without escaping as opposed to using a cotton scarf bonnet pillowcase the cotton allows for you know moisture to escape which leads to dry hair and then further leads to breakage damage split ends you name it so it's not healthy for the hair so using the satin bonnet or pillowcase keeps the moisture in your hair and maintains the moisture it promotes healthy hair growth and you know just all around healthy hair support i like y'all like y'all i like the comments even the bad ones y'all i appreciate y'all i know i rich with no trick but when all this stuff over i hope somebody send me some money so i could be rich with a check period and i mean that